Hello everyone. In our previous video, we have seen about Kruskal's minimum spanning tree algorithm. Now let us see about Prim's minimum spanning tree algorithm. Basically, this algorithm starts with a single node and moves through several adjacent nodes in order to explore all of the connected edges along the path. Let us see how does the Prim's algorithm works. So first step is we have to determine an arbitrary vertex which acts as the starting vertex of the minimum spanning tree. After this, we have to follow the steps 3 to 5 till there are vertices that are not included in the MST. The vertex which is not included in the MST is also known as fringe vertex. So many fringe vertices can be connected to the tree vertex. So among this, we have to find the vertex which is having only the minimum edge. So once we find the minimum among the available edges, we have to add those chosen edge into the MST if it is not forming any cycle. If it forms a cycle, we should not add it. Finally, we have to return the MST and exit. So these are the steps of a Prim's algorithm. Now let us discuss the concept with the example problem. Consider this graph which is having a 9 vertices and 14 uh, edges. We already use the same graph for Kruskal's algorithm. So first step is we have to choose the vertex which acts as the starting vertex. So in this example we are choosing the 0 as the starting vertex and then we are adding it to the MST. So since we are adding it to the MST, we are changing the color of a particular vertex. So this green color indicates that it is the part of the MST. Next, we have to choose the adjacent vertices of the uh, starting vertex, which is not included into the MST yet. So the possible uh, vertices which can be included along with 0 is 1 and 7. So among this, two vertices which is having the minimum weight that can be included into the MST. So between 4 and 8, 4 is least. So we are including 0 to 1 into the MST. So once it is included, we are changing the color of the vertex and the edge. After this, we have to check the possible vertices which can be connected to 0 and 1. So for 0, we can consider 7. For 1, we can consider 7 and then 2. So among these three uh, possibilities, which is having the minimum weight, that will be considered. So here, the minimum weight is 8. Uh, but both 0, 7 as well as 1, 2 has the same weight. So we can either consider 0, 7 or 1, 2. In this example, we are considering the uh, edge with uh, 0 and 7. If you are considering 1 and 2, it is correct, but it will uh, create a different uh, minimum spanning tree at the end. So for our example, we are considering 0 to 7 and including into the MST. Next possibility is we have to check for 1 and 7. So for 1, the possible vertices which can be connected is 2 as well as 7. But 7 we are not considering because it will form a cycle. So for 1 we are considering only 2 and for 7 we can either consider 8 or 6. So among these 3 possibilities which is having the least weight. So 7 to 6 only has the least weight which is 1. So we are considering that and adding it into the MST. Next is we have to consider uh, 1 the possible vertex is 2. And for 7, it is 8. And for 6, it can be either 8 or 5. So among this, which is having the least weight, that can be considered and added into the uh, MST. So 6 to 5 is the uh, least one. So we are adding it into the MST. Next is we have to consider the remaining that is from 1 and then uh, 6 and then 5 as well as from 7. So among this, uh, the vertex with uh, connecting with 5 and 2 is minimum. So we are considering that and adding it into the MST. So we can see that now it has been added. So now the possible vertexes which can be connected to 2 and then 5 can be seen. 
So with 2, you can either add 8 or uh, we can add 3. For 5, we can either add 3 or uh, 4. So what are the edges which is having the minimum weight? So among this, the minimum weight is between the 2 and 8. So 2 and 8, the weight is 2. So which is uh, the minimum. So we are including it into the MST. Now, what are the possibilities? We can either connect uh, 2 to 3 or 5 to 3 or 5 to 4. So, among this which is minimum, so 2 to 3 is 7, 5 to 3 is 14 and 5 to 4 is 10. So, 7 is minimum. So, we are including 2 to 3 into the MST. Now, next step is we can either uh, connect 3 to 4 or 5 to 4. So, if we connect 5 to 3, it will form a cycle. So, we are not considering. So, we have to consider only 3 to 4 or 5 to 4. So, among that, 3 to 4 is having the minimum weight because this is having 9 and this is having 10. So, we are considering 3 to 4 and we are including it into the MST. So, final structure of the MST is shown here. And then we are adding all the costs uh, to find the total cost of the MST. So here we are uh, removing all the fringe vertices which cannot be included into the MST because if we include these vertices, it will create a cycle. So we have to uh, remove this and then form the final uh, MST whose cost is 37. So this is about the PRIMS minimum spanning tree algorithm. Thank you.